From the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Stephen Nerens. A sunnier look than we had in most spots this time yesterday. We you know, had that rain cooled air and the cloud cover uh, that kept us really held temperatures well below normal by the June standards on Monday. Kind of starting to course correct on that a little bit today, but it's gorgeous. 80 degrees here at the lunchtime hour. Dew points are pretty good by summer standards. You know how muggy it can get and eventually it will get again. Uh, so dew points in the low 60s, not too bad, but winds pretty much calm. So there's not much breeze to cool you off, but all in all, just spectacular weather outside and pretty much all of us are within about a degree or two uh, of one another. 80 degree readings in Talala and Pryor and Inola, uh, upper 70s pushing that in Four Acre and Burbank, Pawhuska, Independence, Kansas, Coffeeville, Kansas. You're in the upper 70s as well. And yep, same story, southeastern Oklahoma, Stigler, Wilberton, Eufaula, Stewart, McAllister, all about the same. We've had once again a few scattered showers and storms in southeastern Oklahoma this morning. We even had a shower that briefly rolled across Tulsa at about six o'clock this morning. It rained for about you know 10-15 minutes and then zipped on out of here. Uh, we're going to have another opportunity later on tonight. Now again today the cloudier conditions are along and south of the Red River, western Oklahoma. Some of this cloud cover will spread our way. I think by late in the day, if you're west and southwest of Tulsa, you're going to start to see that cloud cover pick back up again. But it's mostly quiet from a thunderstorm standpoint from now. Uh, late today into tonight. Once again, we reload kind of like has been the trend a lot here recently. We look to the west and to the south for the late day and overnight hours where more storms will develop. And that's where the severe weather risk is going to be again along and south of the Red River where it's already been today. And then by late today, tonight in the Oklahoma, Texas Panhandle is kind of coming off of the eastern uh, Rockies. We're going to see more storms develop dive south and east. They should generally weaken with time. We're seeing a little a few more signs of a couple of those clusters of storms diving south and east and then moving east into our part of the state as we head towards late overnight early tomorrow. So high temperatures today still a hair below normal, but quite a bit warmer than yesterday's upper 60s and low to mid 70s. We're talking low 80s south, mid 80s to the north, but still very nice. So late today, a couple things we'll monitor first will be more storms developing mostly in North Texas, but what will happen is there'll be some outflow boundaries going north from those storms that could actually bring some storms out of North Texas into southeastern Oklahoma by late today into this evening. One or two of those could be some hail producing storms. So as we head towards the early uh, to mid evening hours, Pittsburgh, Latimer, LaFleur County, just be aware we may have some storms coming at you from the south that could be strong to severe. And then we'll watch another potential cluster of storms. This isn't a guarantee, but we've been seeing more signs that we'll have a, uh, a kind of a complex cluster of storms move out of western Oklahoma, zip its way in eastern Oklahoma uh, during the late overnight or hours. Could be, you know, 12 a.m., 1, 2 a.m. These could have a little bit more uh, you know, rowdiness to them. Could be quite a bit stronger, maybe marginally severe with some wind and hail threats in the overnight hours. Hour. So we'll be watching that pretty closely. That should zip through quickly. And then depending on how quickly that moves out, there's a potential for more scattered storms in a few spots tomorrow morning as well. So all in all, you can tell it's just kind of the active pattern continuing, but it'll be more focused on the nighttime and early morning. It looks like we mostly clear out tomorrow afternoon, kind of like today, into the mid to upper 80s. And then another opportunity for storms to redevelop late Wednesday into early Thursday. So you can see nighttime, morning, nighttime, morning, nighttime, morning over the next few days is when storms are going to be the most likely. And it looks like as we had, especially from tonight into tomorrow morning, Thursday night into Friday morning. Those appear to be the opportunities uh, for a slightly more likelihood, I guess I should say, of a larger complex of shower and storms to impact us. Now the temperatures are going to start coming back up as well. So after today, below normal temperatures go away for probably a while. Upper 80s Wednesday, flag day tomorrow, and then we're back around 90 Thursday and Friday. But once again, those nighttime morning storm chances and then heading into the upcoming Father's Day weekend, the July and or excuse me, June and early summer heat continues to build. Could be a few more storms Saturday nights with highs in the low 90s on Father's Day Sunday.